So let's examine the following example that deals with combining a convex and a concave thin lens. So two thin lenses are separated by a distance of 25 centimeters. The first lens is a convex lens with a focal length of 20 centimeters, while the second lens is a concave lens and has a focal length of 10 centimeters. Now, if an object is placed 60 centimeters in front of lens number one, find A, the position of the final image, and B, the magnification of the final image formed as a result of our system of two thin lenses. So let's begin by first looking at our diagram. So we have lens number one, our convex lens, and lens number two, our concave lens. Now the distance between lens 1 and lens 2 is given by 25 centimeters. Now F1 shows our focal length of lens number 1. So this distance here is 20 centimeters. Now this is focal point of lens 1 and this is also our, our focal point of lens 1. We take an object and we place it 60 centimeters to the left of our convex lens, lens number 1 as shown by the purple arrow. So. In part one, we essentially want to find the image distance formed as a result of our lens number one. So we want to apply the thin lens equation. So, 1 divided by the focal length of lens number 1 is equal to 1 divided by the object distance of lens number 1 plus 1 divided by the image distance of lens number 1. So let's rearrange our equation. So we have 1 divided by the image distance of lens 1 is equal to 1 divided by the focal length of lens 1 minus 1 divided by the object distance of lens 1. Now, because we're dealing with a convex lens, our F1 is positive and it's equal to uh, 20 centimeters. So F1 is 20 centimeters and our object distance is 60 centimeters. So 1 divided by 20 centimeters minus 1 divided by 60 centimeters. So if we, uh, if we subtract and then solve for our image distance, we see that the image distance of our image as a result of lens 1 is equal to positive 30 centimeters. So the positive simply implies that our image formed by lens 1 is found on the right side of lens 1 so this distance is 30 centimeters. So that is shown by the following red arrow. So this red arrow represents the image formed by lens 1. Now what exactly is the magnification of this image? So M1 is equal to negative DI1 divided by DO1. Now we know DO1 is equal to 60 centimeters and we found that this quantity is equal to positive 30 centimeters. So that means the magnification of lens 1 is negative 0.5. The negative simply means our image is inverted and the fact that it's less than 1 means the image is smaller than the actual object as shown by the following red arrow. So this is the image that is formed by lens number 1. Now let's move on to the second step. In the second step, we're going to use the image and this image formed by lens 1 will serve as the object for lens number 2. So once again, we want to apply the thin lens equation and we want to see what our image distance is for the final image produced by our concave lens. So. 
1 divided by the focal length of lens 2 is equal to 1 divided by the object distance for lens 2 plus 1 divided by the image distance of lens 2. So this is once again what we're looking for. So let's rearrange 1 divided by the image distance of lens 2 is equal to 1 divided by the focal length of lens 2 minus 1 divided by the object distance of lens 2. So what exactly is the focal length of lens 2? The focal length is equal to 10 centimeters but because we're dealing uh, with a concave or a diverging lens our focal length by definition is negative so our f2 is negative 10 centimeters. What about our object distance for lens 2? Our object is found on the right side of lens number 2. It's on the opposite side of where the light is actually coming from so that means the object distance will be negative. Now what exactly is the quantity? Well we want to find the location of this image relative to our concave lens. So we know that the distance from this location to where our image is formed is 30 centimeters. That's given by this quantity. So if this is 30 and this is 25, then that means that this distance is 30 minus 25 and that gives us 5. So that means this is negative 5 centimeters. Once again, it's negative because our object for lens number 2 is found on the right side of our lens and not on the left side. So 1 divided by negative 10 centimeters minus 1 divided by negative 5 centimeters, this becomes a positive and the result is 10 centimeters. So the image distance for our final image formed by this combination is positive 10 centimeters. So that basically means our image is actually formed on the right side of our entire system. So di is 10 centimeters. Now we can actually use this result to calculate what the magnification is of lens number 2. So m2 is equal to negative di2 divided by do2. So we know what the top is, it's 10 centimeters. We know what the bottom is, it's negative 5 centimeters. We have negative on top and bottom so we have a positive 10 divided by 5 gives us a 2. So the total magnification of our two lens system is m1 multiplied by m2 or equivalently negative 0.5 times positive 2 and that gives us negative 1.0. So that basically means that our final image is the same size as the object but it is inverted. The negative Negative means it's inverted and the fact that our image distance is 10 centimeters and positive means that it's on the right side of lens number two.